Still machine running smoothly. Ha! That won't last long. Hello there everyone, this is Seb and welcome back to Steel Machine. We are playing through level 5. And uh, right at the start, good things are coming to us because there's no stupid walls to prevent us from uh, destroying the carrier right away. And some nice uh, pickups right away. Awesome. Bad thing about these, uh, th this set of levels is that, well, see those green things? Yep, them's the walls. And they don't particularly um, distinguish themselves that well from the uh, background. So, you know, you really need to keep a close watch on them walls. They are nasty. And uh, yeah, those purple things, they at least do a great job of uh, distinguishing themselves. Which is kind of an odd tactic for a mine layer and their mines. You'd figure they want to be camouflaged, but hey... Whatever. If you camouflage the walls and make those instant death, then uh, that that works too. <laughs> Although I do uh, hope to prevent that uh, from happening this time around. So uh, yeah, back again, and uh, let's get rid of that guy. And yeah, these two walls are already a pain in the ass because you can, uh, well, you can go past them, but you need to be very careful when navigating through them. You can't really safely turn when they're on the screen, honestly. Uh, it can be done, but it, it, believe me, it'll give you heart attacks and the likes. <laughs> Best to just uh, travel carefully between them. And uh, yeah, so right at the start there is this hangar, which is a great spot in level 5 to uh, grind for some more missiles, which we're gonna do. Because uh, this game requires it. Really, this is the worst part about this game, hunting for missiles. I think the game is, is fine, it plays great, it's really responsive, which is unique on CDI, especially for an early title. It's just this one design flaw which really hurts it from being an excellent fun game. Each uh, of those uh, power nodes takes three missiles. You only get one for each pickup. I wish it would have just taken one missile to blow up a power node and then maybe some more levels to make it more interesting. Because yeah, I can see with only one missile it would be too easy but... Having to collect so many missiles per level is just ridiculous and boring because it, it, it does come down to this. Staying near a relatively safe spot and just farming for missiles. And as I said in the review, it's just ridiculous that a shoot 'em up has farming involved and camping. And you know, those, those things shouldn't belong in a uh, shoot 'em up. By the way, I don't call shoot 'em up shmups. That seems to be a popular word these days by the young uns. Uh, but yeah, I, I totally hate the word shmup. It just sounds. I don't know. <laughs> just one of those, those uh, pet peeves of gaming culture of mine, I suppose. Uh, another item we've picked up is the side fire. I'm not sure how the side fire works exactly, but it doesn't seem to always shoot on the sides. Um, does it matter? Well, not really, because usually something that needs blowing up is in the front or right on top of you and rarely on the side of you, so it is kind of useless. And uh, yeah, here we also see that, yes, you can downgrade your gun again to the pea shooter, uh, although it's, at least it's the multiple pea shooter, <laughs> which for the lower enemies doesn't really matter all that much. Way to miss that, Sap. Way to miss that. I loved how great I missed that. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you uh, let those missiles drift off screen, you're gonna be busy even longer. But oh well. Um, enemies do look a bit differently, but uh, they function pretty much the same as we've already seen. There's two more walls on either side which you need to navigate through, and right behind that is another wall. I, I can't tell you how many times I crashed into those uh, walls. Um, starting this video you will actually see that I move much more consciously in uh, in these levels. I'm not really sure why I'm trying to blow up that thing because it's clearly not a power node but I guess I figured uh, I could blow it up for some points but uh, yeah who needs points but eh. 
it didn't want to blow up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I uh, wasted a bunch of missiles there. Free to be exact, if I've counted correctly. Uh, but yeah, I I'm moving way more consciously here. Um, which took me a while to actually learn to do. Because, you know, your instinct is to just blow through levels and, and be quick about it, but eh, that will get you killed very fast here. Speaking of being killed, I'm uh, nearly dead already. Well, already. We, we've been at it for a while already, so, you know, it's not too bad. This time around, at least. <laughs> yeah, but, well, back to some more grinding and farming for missiles and the likes and eh. Uh, I do like the designs of these ships as well. Uh, we've got that tank thing running around as well. Uh, so, you know, it, it, it looks nice. Although, for visibility, the uh, second and third, or no, third and fourth level, the organic looking levels, uh, actually look better because it's a red background and, you know, most of the other stuff is kind of grey. It's like the items are also kind of greenish. Wow, I got backstabbed there. Bastards. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is uh, this steel machine. Fun, huh? <laughs> Imagine having to play this over and over and over and over again to beat each level. Yeah, it seems like uh, when something comes out of that and you actually hit something with your bullets, then the side fire works. But also when you move. I'm really not sure how that works. See, there it comes out again. Only it came out on one side. And I downgrade it again. It's one uh, annoying thing about this game is uh, the items, I find them um, at a glance, are really hard to distinguish as well from each other. I would have loved uh, an, a color coded uh, way of, of, of distinguishing the items. You know, have a red item, have a green item, but nope. They're all the same color and there is an icon in there and it's a bit too small for me to really uh, distinguish them uh, at first glance so you know I see something pop out I'm gonna grab it. Luckily there are no real penalties uh, when it comes to items apart from you know downgrading your game uh, your gun slightly but it's not too terrible I mean this works just fine for these small enemies as well and even for the carrier this is pretty much all you need. But, uh, yeah. Just hunting for some more missiles. Um, shouldn't need that many more, I don't think. So, you know, let's uh, head out there and blow some stuff up and get some more exciting times, I suppose. Careful of the walls again. Like there, I am not going for that. Like in the past, I would have se seen that and would... Eh, power up! Get it! But, uh, no, don't do that, because it'll blow you up. <laughs> Oh man, how many times the power-ups have uh, made me smash into a wall. <laughs> Which is kind of typical of me, of course. I'm, get get lost, get you bastard. <laughs> uh, those things just fly off randomly and uh, he randomly decided to fly into me. <laughs> also like the design choice in this level uh, that the, the, uh, the power nodes actually change. Uh, slightly when you shoot a missile on them, you know, you, so you can see how much health it has left, kind of. And they are nice enough to place them uh, both together here as well, which is uh, very convenient. But uh, yeah, I've only got two missiles. I think I need one more actually. Um, but I didn't know that at the time of playing. I figured there was another power note there. But uh, yeah, those two are together, and eh, I counted them as one for some reason. And I decide to go back again because, um, well, just because. <laughs> I didn't really have a reason there. I think the car can actually uh, shoot you when you are camping at the uh, second hangar, so I decide to go back because this one is totally safe. Well, at least as, as long as ships don't fly into you. But uh, yeah, here we are again, some more missile hunting, maybe we can actually get some uh, uh, lasers again as well, because eh, lasers uh, are nice, and they actually sound better as well, which helps a lot. But uh, yeah, I think I actually have enough now, so you know, it would be nice to uh, do it in one life, but uh, for some- whoa. 
Wild Buster appeared. Critically hit step for uh, critical damage there. Wow, that took a lot of shield energy. Not sure what that was, but uh, yeah, those backstabbing criticals, man. <laughs> Could use some shieldage, you know. We've had a lot of shields waiting for some missiles, and now we can actually use shields. So it's only gonna drop uh, more missiles, obviously. Because games work like that, you know. Just like in Mega Man, when you are uh, just dying for a power pellet and only energy uh, refills appear because uh, that's how games work that's like some sort of program is law they, they program that in there or something I don't know <laughs> and I'm dead damn it so close so close of having only one life again wait out the carrier at the start of each level except for the fourth one because they have the wall in there and then just chase it down so you can kill all the enemies that get out of there and you will eventually kill that as well. Mm, just the easiest time this way, I find. There's probably more heroic and awesome ways to do it, but eh. Heroics don't bring you much when you're dead. Well, nice tombstone perhaps, but eh, can't really enjoy that now, can you? So uh, yeah, we should uh, just head to the end. And yeah, when the, you fly through those electric uh, orbs, while they're not shooting, they won't hurt you. So that's good. And uh, yeah, that's not actually background sap. You can't blow it up, but it can certainly blow you up. <laughs> Lesson well learned. <laughs> oh, this game, this game. It's, it's really not too bad. Uh, seriously, if you have a CDI system uh, or if you can emulate it, not sure how well this works on an emulator. I, I think it works pretty well uh, that someone uh, mentioned. And should because it doesn't use a digital video cartridge and that is usually the crutch when it comes to emulation. So uh, give it a go. It, uh, it, it It's a cool game. I like it. I like it. Just for a bit and then I dislike it, dislike it. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can, can actually uh, get rid of uh, the carrier over here I suppose. And those drones are kinda annoying as well but, but they are easy to deal with. They home in, they, they, they fly past you and then uh, fly on the, the same horizontal plane as you are and I'm almost dead again. Uh, this is not good. I only have one life left. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Thank you. I'm actually gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna stick around for some uh, shieldage. There we go. Handy. And we've got the, the, the lasers right at the end of the level. Awesome. Didn't need it many more. But uh, yeah. Hope you like this one as well guys. Join me next time as we explore the final level. Until then, take care. Bye-bye for now.